is well and rahman rahim assalam alaikum in this video we are going to explore this digger pro asset and uh, sometimes in train we need some digs we need some caves uh, in our system and uh, that type of shapes if we want then we have this digger pro asset you can uh, download this asset from insan.blogspot.com and uh, after importing that asset to your scene you will have these two, two uh, menu bar uh, here one is jobs and burst and actually digger needs burst package so if you will import that digger pro package it will also install burst and also in tools we have digger so let's create a train and let's see how it will work so if we create a train and uh, if we go to textures first of all we will uh, have to we have to add the textures to our train so let's go to textures and uh, we can go to layers create a layer and uh, then we will choose texture uh, i will just uh, choose some random texture because i will change this texture so now i will just uh, uh, move here in procedural train painter which have certain good textures here so let's select the train and uh, let's select this texture uh, for the digger uh, one important thing is that our texture should have its normal map so that's why we are adding these textures so let's add this grass and then we will add this ground and this normal map of this ground okay so it is very important also we can add uh, or create a and uh, in this layer i think we can't drag off these textures okay let's find it out ground to zero zero so let's find it here ground zero zero so here we'll just select this texture we'll add this normal map of this texture we will also create another layer and we'll say ground to zero three so let's add ground zero three this one and for this we will add uh, actually this is already added I think because uh, we will add it here on this uh, on in the beginning so here on this layer we will add some new texture so let's add this one and also the normal map of this one and similarly you can add multiple textures much as textures you want for the digger you can add so and now we will just select the train we we'll just go to base or load the train we will select the uh, brush so let's select this brush and make the size of brush a little bit bigger so maybe like this and then let's paint it to raise the train just for learning purpose so here we have just raised the train a little bit from all four sides and now let's uh, see the magic of digger so for adding digger to a train we will just go to tools digger setup trains and click on ok and it will add a digger master object here so if we select the digger master here you can see we have a edit menu and we have these three textures and we also have setting menu enable shortcuts and the shortcuts for brush change brush b change action and brush size opacity also we have some other options and we also have lod settings for the level of detail which is enabled which is good and now we will just uh, we, we can also go to help and we can check for documentation and uh, we can go to edit and now you can see we have operation of dig here selected so here if we click you can see multiple options here we have smooth option paint hole option paint option and the add option also we have brush types we have sphere half sphere round cube and set stalagmite so if for example we want to dig some area uh, we can select the brush so for example this brush is selected we can select the dig and the sphere is also selected and radius of brush you can increase it's up to you and then you can just uh, by pressing left click we can brush it out and you can see this area is digged out okay 
sometimes our caves color or uh, river colors is uh, different from the other uh, environment of train so we can select the color certain color for this and then we can take it out and we will say that it will take the in our train with the uh, other color with, with other uh, texture okay like this so as you can see uh, we have this type of very nice digging into our train you can definitely dig it out this uh, for example you need a cave inside this mountain you can take it out like this okay and now you can see uh, we have this type of uh, cave here okay and uh, you can see that if uh, the cave uh, I've dig this cave till that side and uh, now it is uh, open from here as well okay so we can actually dig it out from this side as well so it's up to you that how you can as uh, you want uh, to be your caves or diggings it's up to you that how you can uh, manage that thing so after that we also have uh, some other options like add each one so if we add something you can see that we can just add it and add a hole here okay and we can add this type of shapes we can add this type of shapes we can change the uh, brush type and then you can see that we can actually uh, brush it and you can see this these type of shapes you can uh, create very easily with a bigger tool okay uh, definitely uh, have rounded cube uh, shape as well so you can see that you can actually utilize this shape to create uh, this type of uh, shapes also we have some stalagmite shape uh, brush type which is also just like sphere but a little bit uh, more uh, sharp from the edges so here you can see that we can use this brush as well and um, uh, that's it so you can see we have this type of brushes so for example we can select this rock brush let's select digging and let's come to this place and let's dig it out from this side Okay, we need a cave here so we have a nice cave here you can see and not too much take it out we can also increase the depth and opacity so for the brushes and as you can see that now it will take more and more when we press left click and uh, drag our mouse so now you can see we have this type of dipping so we also have the option of smooth here so if we select smooth and uh, then we can just uh, press left click and we can smooth uh, the corners so here you can see uh, the shape is smoothing out and also uh, if you want to smooth out the internal uh, shape of the cave you can do so so here you can see that you can just use this brush to smooth the entire surface so you can see that we can create uh, unlimited digging uh, with this tool and uh, uh, this tool is a very nice tool so you can choose this tool for your friends definitely i'm showing you these tools because uh, uh, we will create a complete video on creating a nice environment with trains so in that video we'll choose all these tools hopefully that's it for this video next video will move further goodbye